home workout um, involving chest, pecs and triceps. Uh, it's going to be mainly body weight, uh, be done in the living room and we will be using two light dumbbells, uh, that's all I have at the moment and um, anything that I can find useful in my living room, chairs, couches, different positions. Um, so the name of the game here is to get blood flowing, try to isolate the muscle as much as we can and whatever the weight is not as heavy as it should, uh, kick in more effort with negatives and slow motion and so on. We're going to experiment different hand positions as well, either for the tricep in order to hit the lower up on mid head and we're going to do the same for the pecs. Um, since our range of motion will be limited, uh, there isn't much equipment. So with the positions that we have, we're going to try to make it as, as awkward as possible for the muscle to stimulate a bit of growth. So nothing too crazy, but as we warm up, we we'll try to put the mind at work and see what can do for us in the living room in order to use it as a workout tool. Enjoy. So let's start with the warm up. We'll warm up the areas that we will be working at. Warm up the chest, the triceps. We get straight into a push-up position here, straight after our, our quick warm up. So just your standard push-up position, get the blood flowing in the chest and triceps. So two or three sets on that. We'll move straight into a narrow grip here. So we're putting to work and isolating we're isolating the tricep over here um, would mainly uh, be the lower head of the tricep that we're putting to work this session would be more of an intermediate or an advanced session if you are a beginner think about starting let's say your press-ups or, or push-ups on a knee level uh, not on your toes so that's easier to warm up or even just as a starting set, you can start on your knees, warm up the areas that we're gonna be working first and then going to a full uh, straight positions that we're doing. So here uh, we're moving on, doing the same exercise but on dumbbells. Again, you need strong wrists in here, good balance. If you need to wrap them wrists, do wrap them. Um, take your time, do not rush the exercise. It's a very good isolating exercise for the lower tricep and the upper mid part, upper mid part of your chest. So let's hear now from another angle. So two or three sets here. We take it as far to exhaustion as we can. It is a hard exercise and um, we'll take as little break as we can. So we're moving into a wider stance here with a dumbbells. Again, so we're really stretching up the chest over here. So two or three sets in there, and we move into this level. So these are my dumbbells on the chairs. Again, um, set them up as securely as you can. The aim of this exercise is to get in your chest and we try to go as low as we can to get a full extension to tear them fibers. On this exercise, it might look as a pullover, but we are putting the emphasis on the lower chest. So there will be the lower part of the dumbbell when it goes closer to the waist. Um, from another angle, you'll be able to see what we're all about. So you're focusing on the this part of the exercise when the dumbbell goes closer to the body and not away from the body as you do with a pullover. As you can see, we are not getting a full stretch on the lats. As it's not the aim of this exercise the aim is to bring it as close to the waist and in slow motion again the video is on a bit of a speed here to save time but you're going to take your time do a two three sets and you're going to feel muscle tightness around the chest so i'm using my uh, boxing pads here to slip away and do my flies it's the equivalent of a machine fly but we're doing this on the floor Again, you need really tight wrists, a bit proper warm up. I would never recommend to start your session with this exercise because you could easily tear a chest muscle in here. Um, it's very good, it's a good finisher, I find it. 
and you go and do as many reps as you can in as little time as you can the aim here is to keep as much control as you can so you can do the same exercise here just loosen up the end bits a little bit same as with the boxing parts so you just loosen up so you're able to we loosen them so we're able to roll with them so very strong grip you need a if your wrists are weak or you're not warm up properly i would advise to use wristbands tighten up that grip well because you can easily get injured and it's an advanced enough exercise okay smack your mark in the floor if you don't have good control of the body weight of two arms if it's too heavy it's a beginner's exercise on your knees better off do a couple of sets Very little rest, we move straight into a tricep kickbacks. Again, using the dumbbells. Uh, I have joined both dumbbells into one now to get some more effort and intensity there. So holding on the chair, okay? So the elbow, it's nearly, it doesn't move the upper part of the arm, just the lower part. Avoid any swings. Now the video could be slightly sped up here. To save time but try not to swing uh, throughout the movement to get a full extension on that on the tricep again let's do as many reps as we can we are really hitting that upper head of the tricep over here until we get the burn now we move into the next exercise it would be a tricep overhead extension with both arms we give it a good warm-up with both arms a good stretch and warm up the tricep as well so one set or two with this would be fine and after this we're going to move into a one-handed so we can do it at the front towards the face or we can do it at the back of the head so at the front now we are hitting the upper head of the tricep again you need a lot of control here and be very careful to not smack your face with the weights all right if needed do use lighter weights uh, most likely we'll be doing as well with the lighter weights after we get a, a good kick of the first set so with a lighter dumbbell we're doing front upper head apologies lower head and then the back of the head will be working on the lower head of the tricep so we're mixing them up here we're really exhausting the muscle front a few reps and back and you can move front and back until the tricep is exhausted there so Again, the name of the game is to exhaust the muscle. On this next exercise, we're doing some skull crushes with my sofa. Again, my living room sofa. It's a lovely three-seater sofa. It uh, gives quite a bit of pressure there on the triceps. Uh, very good exercise. Um, again, if it's too heavy, get a spotter or use a smaller sofa. Two or three sets with this, you'll have the triceps really exhausted as you can see um, I can do a couple of sets 
it's going to be more than enough safety again is paramount uh, here now we are doing triceps again we're doing dips on the chairs with the feet on the uh, small sofa get a long deep extension there a good stretch and again we are working all the heads of the tricep in there the deeper you go in it the better stretch you can get the more beneficial will the exercise be so we move back into some chest finishers here on the dumbbell a wide grip a really good stretch they're not exhausted uh, pectoral muscles and give it a good good stretch uh, we know we're finishing so we're gonna have to finish strong again i'm using the dumbbells for the grip so it allows me to get closer to the floor and i also get a tighter grip and a good of a, a workout on the forearms as well and also if you have noticed when we do floor push-ups and dumbbell we get more uh, the lower head of the triceps again involved as an assistant so we are close to the end now so the last couple of finisher sets to really exhaust and chest muscles so if you thought you would only get exhaustion in the gym think again yes because the weights are lighter you're gonna need um, more intensity okay you're gonna need more repetitions but there is no say that you cannot achieve close enough results of course you won't be lifting heavier weights because you're just working on body weight nevertheless the workout is going to be intense as uh, advised as well this is an intermediate to advanced workout however all beginners do give it a try uh, safety is paramount again and uh, whenever you feel that the weights are heavier drop them again if this for example this exercise is heavy and you cannot walk on a straight leg and you're exhausted it's important to finish and work from lean, knee level if needed so you can finish with us uh, z percepts uh, from the knee level if you find that you're getting exhausted but it's important to finish the workout entirely so we're hitting the end now um, we broke the sweat we burned the calories that was needed and of course as visible we got the pump uh, required so it's important at the end to do a cool down and a little bit of a stretch before we wrap up the exercise just to get the blood flowing again so it's very important to hydrate during and after your workout all right you don't want your muscles dehydrating you'll be getting cramps you get headaches the next day so hydrate um, workout days I recommend to hydrate double of what you hydrate during your non-workout days a lot of people drink the same amount of liquids or water mainly I got my BCAAs here to go I was hydrating most of the workout in between sets and also it's very important to cool down and stretch a little bit those muscles that you just worked out um, it is quite important, there's no need for any heavy or ballistic stretching, just a light stretch. Get the blood flow back into the muscles groups that you worked out. So it was your triceps today. So a little tricep stretch, two or three sets for each arm, 10 to 20 seconds. Okay, get the blood flowing back in there. The same with the chest, okay. Can hold against the wall or against the surface stretch it out get the blood flowing back in there okay tight muscle needs the blood to go to fly in and out same on the muscle groups that you worked out during that day and that's about it it was a fast and furious home workout body weight dumbbells couch chairs whatever you can find it'll do the drill be safe